as with many a good idea, not all of them are successful. Good morning, folks. Welcome along. It's Friday. Uh, this. So, uh, Wednesday, we were in here working, and the fan stopped on the AC unit. The compressor was still running. Dangerous situation. Heat's going to build up. Quickly inspected, discovered that the fan housing had got up to 130 degrees C, where which it houses a thermistor, automatic cutout. So that's what it did. It cut out. So this means that that squirrel cage fan does not have the power to blow the exhaust through that trunk in and out of the building. Uh, and at the same time, I got a comment left on one of the videos the other day saying exactly that, that I'd need to put an inline fan in there to help draw the vacuum out. I've had a look online, the inline fans are upwards of 60, 70 pounds. That, but that money, that butter, <laughs> that money can be better spent uh, on things such as a plate chiller, which I really do need. So I'm just going to leave it to exhaust into the unit like this. All it means is that we're going to be about 30 degrees in here on really, really hot days. But as long as the chiller's working and all of these are sitting at temp, which they are, then it's not a problem. And on the plus side, in the winter, we've got a source of heating, even though it's barely going to be on, I imagine, because they'll be cold anyway. But yeah, I'm not going to take the uh, ducting down. I'm going to leave it in place because we will revisit it in the future and more than likely put an extractor in. I just don't have the cash to do it now. So I'm just going to leave it tied to the wall until we can come back to this project. Hey ho, you can't win them all. Anyway, let's have a look at what's going on with the coconut shy. She sat nicely at 10, 18, 10. She sat nicely at 18.9 degrees and we're about ready to put some coconut in there, I think. So we'll take a quick grab reading. See how she's coming along. Boom. Lots of coconut. Nice bite. Sitting at about 1017. Mm. Really good. I think we're gonna put the dry hops in and the coconut. She's ready to go. A little bit early, but what's it gonna do? It'll just sit on there a little bit longer. And a real heavy coating of yeast in there. Tastes bloody gorgeous though. Right, coconut in. Now talking about hops, look what we've got. That's the Stanley knife on the floor. <laughs> so two big bags of mosaic. So 
Here's a heads up folks, if you want to buy bulk hops and you don't want to start a contract with somebody such as Charles Farron or Bath Horse Group for that matter, then hop.exchange is the place to be. This is my first purchase from them, so take it with a pinch of salt for now. But these arrived within two days, 10 kilos of mosaic hops, 100 and 70 pound delivered. That is pretty damn good. So the way it works is the guys list over contracted hops for other breweries. These particular hops came from Canopy Beer Company. I've had some of their beers. It's nice. But they obviously over contracted on Mosaic, so they're shifting their surplus on hop.exchange. Good place to be, it seems. They've got some of the big ones on there, Simcoe, Centennial, Mosaic. But like I say, please don't nick all the Mosaic pellet. I want it. Right then, chaps, we're sat upstairs in front of the six pound computer, which we've got working really well. And I wanna say a couple of things to all you guys out there, the viewers, particularly the ones who've been gifting on Patreon. They've been pledging money for the past three months now and this money is allowing me to do this. So in front of you on the computer screen we have an invoice from Viewplan. Now Viewplan are brewery management software people. They take care of all of the nasty admin that you have to be running uh, in order to comply with HMRC's regulations and these this view plan normally costs £495 a year plus uh, an £80 maintenance and support charge and that's yearly the £80 uh, but I spoke to the chap who owns the uh, system, his name's Matt and because we've bought from him before he's very kindly, very kindly giving us it for half price because this will be the second license we've bought from him and that means that we have a total amount due of £330 to get this BMS system up and running and that folks is where your Patreon pledge is going you guys are helping us do the admin which god you've no idea how much help that is it is roasty toasty folks up on the top deck of this little mezzanine thing we've got going here we're up literally in the roof space this is where the office is if you've not seen this entrance before and that's pretty much the setup that we've got going in there the kids watch this TV on the wall lay on these sofas in the winter we have a little fan heater on the floor no carpet there wasn't even a desk in here until we went to that auction the other day so it's a very unique and original setup you'll see we've also got this window on the front where we can view out and observe everything that's going on in the brewery and anybody that's coming in so yeah let's go down the stairs I can't wait till these casts arrive so we can get the beers out into cask on on the bar. Oh, asthma. I'm enjoying some gorgonzola cheese, sharp cheddar, quiche Lorraine. Turkey, roast pot, bacon, chicken, stuffing, plum tomatoes, lettuce, beetroot, and uh, French bread. See you tomorrow.